Today I'm sharing a story of redemption, a story that wants to prove no matter how many times you fall, you should get back up and try again. I'm talking about my story of falling on my You may remember not too long ago when I crashed my bike on live television. Cue the clip. Well, now I'm here for payback. I'm about to meet with professional rider Daniel Sedlak for a day in the dirt. Hi, Daniel. Ah, yes, the sprawling dirt tracks at Barona Oaks Raceway in Lakeside, where children decades younger than me are catching air time. And I'm over here picking a wedgie. Let me saunter over to my instructor for the day, who owns SOS. No, not a distress signal, that might come later, but the Sedlak Off-Road School. And I'm originally from Europe, grew up in Germany, raced professionally for the last 10 years, all around the world, eventually ended up here in San Diego, liked it, and yeah, started Sedlak Off-Road School five years ago. Danny's been riding since he was six years old. Here's a picture of him and his brother at their first race in Germany, probably around 1996. Look at how cute he was. I raced in over 40 different countries, six different continents all over the place. And then later on in my career, more and more people asked me about training. So I did a lot of stuff in East Africa, Uganda, Kenya, working with kids over there. I went to Vietnam, went to Cambodia, all over Asia. And that sort of started the idea of Setback like Off-Road School. I have to ask, who's easier to teach, kids or adults? Usually kids, right? Because adults are just scared. Who, me? Scared? Nah. <laughs> okay, let's get this party started. Yeah! <laughs> How do you break? What is throttle? Are wedgies common in this thing? The elbows up. Is this, does this come into play at all? No. You want to be as stable as you can on your upper body. Bike's 220 pounds. Once it's moving, you know, you look fit, but you don't look super strong. So, are you ready? No! All right, I think that 15 minutes of training should just about do it. A little pep talk. What? And I'm ready to ride dirty, because I'm probably going to fall in the dirt. All I right, can't, I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous. OK, wait. I can do this. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. And now you're riding. Pull the clutch, pull the clutch. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. Yes, you can. No, yes, I you can. <laughs> because I don't know how to stop. Positive words lead to positive actions. I'm a good rider. <laughs> school. Well then, go to your room. Okay, look, I got this. Now let's see if I can get the bike lingo down. Are you ready? To grip it and rip it? <laughs> yeah, let's go. You've never said that in your life, have you? I have not said that in my life. Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, anyway, the moment I've been waiting for. Time to raise some prepubescent kids. And although these kids may not be old enough to know what a VHS tape is, seriously, I asked them, they have no idea. They are indeed old enough to know they needed to let me win for the sake of television, so thank you. So as I ride off into the dirt, clinging to Daniel's back for dear life, sorry, Daniel, I have to give props to these young kids, facing their fears, living life without speed limits, and taking on such a thrilling sport. Don't worry, I'll be back for more. Uh, maybe. 